Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a natural glam look for you. I've decided that I wanted to do something a little bit more natural and not as smoky as that I normally do. Um, just because I have been up since 3 this morning and I'm tired and I didn't want to do anything too smoky because I didn't want to accentuate my dark circles. Um, and the reason why I've been up is because I actually just bought a carpet cleaner yesterday and don't even get me started. I am like... It's like Christmas for me right now. I mean, normally people will get excited over makeup. I'm so excited about this carpet cleaner. It's not even funny. But, yeah, that's what I've been doing all morning. And then I decided to just sit down and film. I'm actually getting ready for work right now. What else is new? And, yeah, I just wanted to do a natural daytime glam look for you. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And leave some suggestions in the comments below about what you guys would like to see. I'm always open to ideas or um, if you have any, like, tips for me on my videos. Just write them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So today I decided to film an everyday natural glam look for you and like I said before I have been up since 3 so if you see me just happen to dance around that's because I am trying so hard to stay awake right now. I'm going to start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer, the pore minimizing one. I absolutely adore this primer. Oh my goodness. I love it better than the Benefit Professional because this one actually works. Um, I used the Professional before and I liked it, but this actually fills in my pores and I am so, so impressed with this formula. I'm then going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind uh, what is this? Age Rewind Concealer Dark Spot Eraser. This is the treatment and corrector one, and it is in the shade Fair slash Light. As you can see, I do not have a light hand with this, and that is okay because I am so tired that I will do anything to cover up these dark circles. Once I've slapped that on my face, basically, I'm just going to very messily blend it out with no rhyme or reason. I mean, there's really no like technique to do this because we're just going to cover it up with foundation. And the foundation I decided to use today was my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the shade, what is this? This is in the shade um, Natural Buff. I'm then going to go with my MAC Pro Liner Concealer in NW20. Like I said, I don't have a light hand when it comes to concealer, and I'm perfectly okay with that. You guys don't have to use as much as I do. This is just what I like because I like for my dark circles to be completely concealed, and I love how full coverage this concealer is. It's also formulated not to crease, which I absolutely love because I do have an issue with my concealers creasing underneath my eyes. I'm then going to use a damp beauty blender to blend everything out. This is my favorite way to blend everything because it really shears out the concealer and makes sure that it doesn't get cakey, which I do have a problem with that as well because, like I said, I don't have a light hand with concealer, so the beauty blender has been a godsend. I'm just going to keep doing this in an upside down triangle motion. It's called plastic surgery with makeup and it really gives you an instant eye lift and I absolutely love this technique. I'm then going to be using my MAC press powder and I believe light plus to set everything. Um, I normally do a highlight like this. I love a dramatic highlight underneath the eye just to brighten everything up and it really helps my uh, concealer from not creasing. Excuse me if I say the word um a lot in this voiceover. I am just that tired that I'm so scared I'm going to start stumbling over my words. Forgive me. Anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, I'm going to contour with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. As you can see, it is time to repurchase another one. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this bronzer. Use too much and it does look muddy, so I suggest using a light hand with this. I'm just going to put a very, very defined line about halfway down the side of my cheek, and then I'm just going to use swirling motions to blend it all out. I know you guys are probably going to think, wow, this is very dramatic. I won't look good in this. It's muddy looking. Don't worry. Wait till I finish and it's all going to be blended out. I'm also going to take it up onto the temples of my forehead and then I'm going to connect that to the contour that is on the cheekbones because I have a very round head and I like to have more of a chiseled cheekbone. I'm also going to put it underneath my chin as well. And then taking a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to blend everything out using less product than before on the neck just to make sure that I blend everything in with this really, really horrible spray tan I got going on. I'm so sorry you guys have to see that. 
I'm then going to use a MAC blush. Ooh, I forgot what this blush is called. I'll have it linked down below for you. But this is a beautiful blush. I'm so glad that I purchased it. It's just, it's not coral, it's not pink, but it's got a little bit of a gold tint to it. Oh, it is just absolutely beautiful, and I love the glow that it gives my skin. It really just makes it look like I just have a soft glow going on, and I haven't been up since three this morning. <laughs> I'm also going to blend it out into the contour on the temples as well, just so it doesn't look like, okay, you've got on blush today. Then going in with my Becca highlighter in the color Rose Gold. This is such a pretty highlighter. I mean, can we just admire this for a second? I just put it right on the um, tops of my cheeks and just blend it right on in and just look at that. I mean, boom. But then I'm going to go in with my MAC Brow Gel. What is this? This is in the color Girl Boy. It's kind of a blondish color, so it really helps brighten up everything since my eyebrow pencil is kind of a little bit darker than my hair color. I'm just going to use that to set on my brows in place so that they're not flying everywhere throughout the day because girls, we all know that that happens. And then I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly with an Urban Decay brush from, I believe, the Naked 2 palette. I don't like sticking my finger in my paint pot just because I have acrylics and it gets everywhere. It's just, ooh, I just don't like it. So I'm just going to use that to sculpt out my eyebrows. Then going with the Naked One palette, I'm going to be using the color Buck and just using any type of crease brush. This one is from Real Techniques. It's just an El Cheapo brush. You really don't need expensive brushes to do this look. They all do the same thing. I'm just going to take the color Buck and put it in my crease and slightly above since I do have hooded eyelids just so I can actually, you know, show the color. Girls with hooded eyelids, you feel my pain. Like this video if you have that issue. And then taking the color Naked from the palette, this is going to act as my transition shade. And I'm just going to blend everything out right underneath that brow bone with that naked color because girls, like I said before, we don't want no harsh lines. All right, then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so pretty, so pigmented, but you have to be careful because there is a lot of fallout. I hadn't used this before, but I decided that I want to do my foundation first, and I kind of wish I had done it last because it did get everywhere. But I just sprayed my MAC brush. Um, this is just a flat shader brush with some MAC Fix Plus so that it grips onto the pigment. And then I just went on ahead and put that all over my lid, up into the crease as well, and just slightly above the crease, like I said, because I have hooded eyelids, and I actually want this to show. I think I used the Lorac 2 for this. Um, I can't remember if it was Lorac 1 or 2. I'll link that down below. But I'm using the shade Buff and I'm blending out that naked color and blending it up into the eyebrow just so that it can all transition together. I'm then also going to take the color Snow and put that right underneath the brow bone just to lighten up everything. I have really, really been loving just a soft highlight underneath the brow bone for winter. It just looks so pretty. And then I'm also going to take it and put it right underneath, not underneath, <laughs> right in the inner corner of my eye. Then taking the color Half Baked, I am going to take a flat definer brush from MAC and put that all underneath. Um, I'm just going to take this little, I guess it's a pencil shader brush. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's from e.l.f. It was like $3 from Walgreens, and I'm just going to use that to blend everything out. For eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil. I didn't want to use a black eyeliner for my waterline just because I wanted my eyes to look awake and bright and using dark eyeliners can really, really make you look very tired. So I just lined my waterline with my NYX Wonder Pencil and then took my eyeliner from NARS in Via Veneto. Then tight line, that's the word I'm looking for, tight lined my upper lash line with that. I got a new mascara the other day. This is by It Cosmetics. It is the Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Clinically Proven Mascara. I was going to wear false lashes for this tutorial, guys. I'm not even kidding. But this mascara is so amazing that I really didn't feel like I needed them. I'm then going to put Max Cream Cup on my lips. I wanted a very pink baby doll lip. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to take your hair down. Put on your favorite type of earrings. My favorite so far have been these from Aldo. They're just gold little dangly earrings. I absolutely love them. I decided to just let my hair go natural as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>